Look guys, it's Summer Tamaki. She's so cute. She's playing in the snow. Okay, so, hi. Welcome back to another Princess Connect video. My name is Lace, and today we're going to be talking about the half anniversary festivities to continue with Summer Tamaki. I kind of just read the title there. But really, we have a whole bunch of different events, and some of these things are actually, like, pretty spicy. Such as this guy down here, double three-star draw rates, man. Like, that's a pre-fez without saying it's a pre-fez. And for you guys who are wondering, yes, this is actually identical to, like, the other servers. The other servers did indeed get 5% three-star draw rates on their Summer Tamaki banner. All right, and so with that being said, let's jump into the video and let's start off with this guy over here. I just really want to say that this guy is like foaming at his mouth. Like, I think he needs a doctor. But moving back to the topic at hand, we have Summer Tamaki coming in as the half anniversary gacha. In a nutshell, Summer Tamaki is kind of like an upgraded version of her base form. She still kind of does like the same thing where she steals TPs and like actually does massive damage. However, she just does a lot more damage. And yeah, that's, that's kind of it really. For you guys who have been following Clan Battle, you realize that we are not able able to use Summer Tamaki in this CB. And so yes, we are able to use Summer Tamaki for a couple more CBs after that before she kind of gets like outclassed. But realistically speaking, if you do pull her, she is 100% worth to upgrade. However, this is not a Summer Tamaki video and so I will leave that for her evaluation. And so let's talk about the double three star draw rates. And so I know there are some people in the world that are kind of like, well, I'm fishing for DAs. Like bro, are we playing the same game? How the hell are you fishing for DAs when I'm like struggling to draw three star characters? And so that's kind of the first thing I want to talk about should you draw on this banner if you like kind of have everyone or if you actually get summon tamaki should you keep going if you get summon tamaki my answer is absolutely not yes you might be tempted in to go in for like the more divine amulets but like i seriously would not consider it again we have such a squished schedule we've got halloween shinobu coming up we've got christina we've got v shizuru we've got muimi and i think you guys get the point right i can go on and on and on fishing for da's unless you're a whale is never a good idea there is always just that unit that's around the corner and so guys like like just just be happy with your summer tamaki however what about the scenario that you don't get the summer tamaki it depends on how much you like her right so my opinion of summer tamaki's shelf life it's like it's not long enough for me to justify sparking her i might get kicked out of my clan for that but like you know so be it i'm just kidding guys come on show me some mercy but yeah if you really do like her you could consider going to spark especially because of the double three star draw rates hopefully this will get you a whole bunch of da's and if there is any time that you are going to go all in on a banner it's this one right here but otherwise personally i don't think she is like ultra ultra critical if you can't get her it is not the end of the world and so with that being said let's move on da, 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 da. we have the half anniversary gacha daily free 10 draw this is super super lit this is exactly in line with jp to be honest i think our whole game like almost the whole game has been aligned to jp so far and that's really really good because like in my opinion all a publisher has to do to succeed in the west is just bring the game over and translate it that's it don't make any unnecessary changes you know what i'm saying but yeah most of you should know that this is going to be happening like we're going to be getting across 11 days 10 draws each and so that totals up to 110 free chances to get summer tamaki and with the five percent draw rate technically speaking you're probably going to get summer tamaki i think the odds are about like 78 percent or something of like getting her within 110 pulls and so yeah guys happy days and let's move on oh my lord it is finally time for the reset oh god okay <laughs> here we go here we go here we go here we go now i know a lot of people have been asking about how does the ba reset or the pa reset actually work there are a lot of theories like surrounding this system and like my personal favorite is the one where like the kind of the brackets that have started around the same time they kind of get shuffled up and so what i mean by that for example i'm saying like ba1 ba2 and ba3 and ba4 i reckon they're going to take all of the active people there and then put them into a new bracket but honestly i don't know if they've actually ever talked about how it works and so if any of you do know let me know down in the comments below please because i am really really curious if they've ever like published a statement on like how it really works so Aside from that though, you should be really excited because they are going to be resetting the first time ranking rewards. So this is really interesting. I got to make this really, really clear. The first time you get rank one in BA or PA, you get a total of about 31k jewels. If you were able to actually hit rank one and claim those 31k jewels in both of them, then after the reset, you start at 15k place again. And then when you hit rank one again, you will get 10k. This is because there is technically like three types of rewards. You've got the daily reward in which you're awarded like jemmies and stuff 
depending on what rank you're sitting at at the time of cutoff. Then you've got the first time bracket ranking rewards where like this is like that 10k that I'm talking about. And so that last 20k I'm talking about actually comes from first time ever ranking rewards. And so because you have climbed to first place before, you're not going to be getting those again. And this is kind of good news for the people who did not make it because it means that you still have a chance to get like massive, massive gemmies. However, if you guys are able to, I do recommend going for the rank one push. Getting rank one every single time there is a shuffle is always going to be the best move here. All right, that should be enough for that one. Hopefully you guys can go push for R1 and like, well, good luck guys, because it's pretty tough. And so guys do remember that it is happening. That is in about two weeks, a little bit more than two weeks. And this is pretty funny. They're actually a little bit self-aware. Get your Tamaki store counters ready. <laughs> Maybe Crunchyroll is watching. I don't know. Maybe they are watching. Hello. Anyway, moving on. We've got limited time new furniture. This is always dank, but there's not too much I can say about it. We are finally getting some aquatic themed stuff. And that is really nice considering it is a beach event or a summer event. But moving on, we have the game update news. So area 15, we've got chapter eight and episodes one to seven. And so what this means is that we are going to be getting rank 10 five. Okay, that's pretty interesting because it means that like there are going to be a bunch of characters that are looking to go up. However, as always, I am eyeing those hard stage nodes. So we've got down here, we've got the Yui, the Mimi and the Arisa. For those of you that have been holding out for Arisa, like, like me, actually, this is great news for us. And so good luck on your farming because like those nodes, ah, yeah. And so on top of that, we will also be getting the level cap raised to 107 and we've got some triple draw hard quest drops times three, baby. That's exactly what I'm talking about. Oh my God. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, I love it. I love to see it, guys. And you guys can already see. We've got Jun. We've got Jita. We've got like Arisa coming up and then we're going to get Kyoka and then we're going to get Ilya. This game is just like so incredibly free to play. The only thing that you really need for this is like perseverance and time. As more and more content comes out, as like the time goes on, pretty much everybody is going to equalize. And so, yeah, that is just so freaking exciting. Now, a lot of people have been asking, should I actually refresh the notes for the hard quest drops times three? A lot of people have done the math to see if it's worth refreshing on like times one. I think that the conclusion that they came to was that yes, it actually is worth it, especially when you compare it to like the expected cost of acquiring any of these characters. Me personally, if I was going to refresh for times three, which I probably will still thinking about it, I'm probably only going to be going for Jita, for Jun and for Arisa. And the reason is because pretty much everyone else has like more than one node. It's only like these newly released nodes that only have one node. And so it's a little bit harder to farm for them. And for me personally, especially since I played since soft launch, like these are the only characters that I have not five starred. And for God's sake, I still don't have Jita. I've wanted Jita since like day one. Anyway, moving on. No, not moving on. Oh my God, it lasts for seven days. Guys, there's literally nothing to say except get hype. It's a freaking seven day hard quest drops times three. Oh my God. Okay, okay, calm down, calm down. Moving on. We've got dungeon mana times two. Remember to rig it. I've actually forgotten to rig it like the last two or three times. But yeah, that is really nice. And I think that's actually the end. So let's just have a quick speed run through all of the different content. We've got the Summer Tamaki banner coming up where she is the solo rate up. On this banner, we've got double draw rates for three star characters. However, guys, please don't sink your hard earned jemmies into this if you've already gotten Summer Tamaki. Moving on, we've got the 110 free pulls, which is just super lit. Battle Arena reset and bracket shovel. Remember to get your first time rank one rewards. However, guys, if you can't reach it, like don't sweat it too much. Moving on, we've got the limited furniture and then we've got the August content update. 105 to 107 is decent. However, this one is probably the more interesting one. The 10-5 equipment is pretty cool and I think it actually gets a couple of characters to go up. But generally speaking, it's going to be the armor piece. I suspect a lot of the characters are going to stay at 9-5 or 9-6, especially the DPS ones, which are going to lose TP boost. However, let's talk about that in another video. Other than that, we've got chapter 8 of the main story unlocked up to episode 7. We've got some new stories, which is always nice. And we've got the, oh my God, I still can't believe it. A seven day hard quest triple drop campaign. That is just so freaking awesome. Like, holy moly. And then to round things out, the double dungeon drop for mana. Yeah, for mana. Wow, guys, it's actually been, wait, it's only been six months because this is the half anniversary. I swear it's been longer, but like, huh, what do you know, huh? But yeah, I'm so glad to see these three times drops like starting to come out. I think very, very soon we're going to start seeing the 1.5 times EXP events on like those event stages. But yeah, honestly, I'm just cruising. I'm just chilling and I hope all of you are as well. And so with that being said, let's just wrap this video up. I've got a secret message for you guys and it's hard three. Hard three because I'm just so excited about hard quest drop rates going to three times. There was another secret message that 
I was thinking about that involved the word hard, but I think I'm just going to leave it to your imagination. And so if you guys could drop that secret message down in the comments below, I would really appreciate it because it means that you've watched up until the end of the video. And so thank you so much. But otherwise, please consider a like, a sub, a comment, a follow, a pen. You guys already know what it is. If you would like to support the channel, we do have a membership thing as well as some affiliate links down in the description below. But otherwise, as Tamaki once said, all good things must come to an end. And so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.